What up, though, homies and homets? Welcome back, and thank you for checking out this video. Today, I'm going to show you how I put together a Valentine flyer and what you might can do so that you can get the same thing popping and you can make your own Valentine card and you can save your money from Hallmark because you know Hallmark. I mean, is it Hallmark or Hallmark? Something Hallmark or something like that. And you can save your money because it's fairly expensive. So without further ado, as you can see, we already got the party going right now, already. Um, I got the solid gray background, and then I got this light gray. Now, if anybody been watching my tutorials, y'all know exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going to go in here and blur this boy up using the Gaussian blur. That's right, the Gaussian blur, and then you know you got to blow it out, you know. Th uh, this makes it look very expensive. Look like a, a lot of money was... Um, involved um usually i show the artwork before i get started but you know what youtube said just jump right into it no nobody want to see all that stuff i don't know man i don't know i'm panicking i know y'all panicking t slow down i'm like oh speed up i don't really know what to do on youtube no more because the like, yeah, algorithms keep changing and you know already watching my videos and your way is watching my videos but you're leaving real fast i don't know if the algorithm is lying to me i don't understand what's popping but guess what we're gonna keep it pushing anywho because you know what i ain't here for the algorithms i'm here for y'all all right, so we got a nice little background going on. Now, as you can see over here, I got everything already pulled up, but we're going to pull everything in one at a time, starting with our lady. Now, she's a nice looking lady. I don't know if she's you know, Chinese or what, you know, Caribbean. I don't know, um, but she got tattoos and that's cool. All right, so what we're going to do here is um, the strings here. I really don't like the color of the strings, but uh, we might just keep it. But let's go ahead and do what I typically do. And that's uh, kind of fade the bottom so let's go ahead and get an eraser and then go up here and get this really soft blur and um, I just kind of just tap the bottom a little bit just so she can kind of just fade off into you know the wind or whatever I don't know where they go all right so anywho uh let's see so so far she actually looking pretty good pretty decent she's centered um, I'm looking at her to see if I need to hold on wait a minute y'all I gotta make sure that this is not going up over time Sorry about that. Oh, that's another video. Okay, so I gotta watch this here. Usually I don't record in 4K, so I gotta make sure I get this done in like, you know, a couple minutes. All right, anywho, uh, I think she's okay. So we're gonna go with our bottles, bottles here. Uh, now, I like this here. Uh, actually, I, I think I wanna change that blue, but I, I'm not really sure yet. But we're gonna go ahead, of course, and pop the meals, no wet. Yeah, the meals, no wet. And uh, go ahead and um, uh, stack them like that. Now, uh, again, if you watch any of my other tutorials, now this is really just one style, y'all. You know, everything don't have to be like this, but I'm telling you, this is the easiest and fastest way to get some really good artwork done um, just by having the right assets. You want to have the right assets and you want to place them at the right place. Um, just that simple. All right, and I, I can show you better than I can tell you. Go ahead and add another one. This is some type of splash. I don't know what, why we got this red splash. I, what, I don't know what it means. It's just a splash. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you can see here, I'm just pulling up the elements. You know, that was already here. You know, we're going to pull some cups up. We're going to let everybody know that not only do we drink more wet, but we drink them in red, uh, you know, red little cups <laughs> we drink this expensive moet <laughs> in these ripple cups and let's go ahead and pour this up now this is beautiful here right Got the red balloon let's go ahead and shrink this hottie down a little bit so we can kind of have some space for the balloon you know she was the theme but guess what the theme is everything else around her now you see it can change up it happens all right uh, and then let's go ahead and cut this one on. And what you doing, T? I'm entertaining you. I'm training you. I'm entertaining you. Ha ha, got him. All right. Um, let's go ahead. Let's let's pull this up front, above and beyond everything. Now, really, I should have had this already cut out, cause this is a waste of time. I don't like to waste you guys' time no more. Um, uh, speaking of time, um, I'm giving you guys a heads up. 
Uh, for the next 30 days or as often as possible, I'm gonna be uh, uploading some of my uh, speed tutorials. Well, not speed tutorials. They are speed videos. I'm gonna cut this whole control X to cut it and then control V to repaste it. Why you do it that way, T? Because I've been doing it like that for years. All right, so um, it's of course better ways of doing this, but this is how I've been doing it, like how I've been cutting out circles. I would always make a square around a circle and then go from the edge and you know invert it and slide it and then just delete it like that and i know it's stupid it can be definitely faster but you know i'm just t i'm t this is t doing this all right so uh, uh we slide that there and um you know of course we can make another copy and pop it over here bang you know what i'm saying <laughs> we're just popping it to little places here and there uh, let's take this Chardonnay. I mean, I'm not Chardonnay. <laughs> Y'all can tell I don't drink champagne. I can't afford that stuff, man. Yeah, I ain't no YouTube star, man. I'm just YouTube. All right. And uh, let's put some balance in here by kind of shrinking that a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. Now, look, it's already looking really decent already. It's just the placements, um, y'all. Like, seriously, on a side note, it's the placements. Uh, it's the good content. You got to have you got to have the good assets. You already know where to get it from. I'm not going to shameless plug, which I actually just did. Um but uh, you know where to get it from. Yeah, I'm a, I, uh, go to this corner here. I'm going to show you a little secret. You see the circle here? Go to this corner, click it, hold shift and drag. And you make you a perfect circle. And and then invert and then hit delete. And bam, you got you a perfect circle. Hold Control D to remove the, the ant, marching ants, and then shrink it down. And guess what? We popping, we popping off. Now this ball can be like you know disco ball. Oh, actually, here, look. Always want contrast, right? So don't put red against red. Put like silver against red. You know, so you can have that contrast. So we can kind of shrink that, so we can not cover up all the red. And then you can have this ball. You know, maybe like over here, maybe up here. Um, but um, if you're noticing, look at the offsets. Like it's always kind of like an offset, like a you know, like a like a balance. Uh, now, what is, there's nothing. There's no flyer. There's no Valentine flyer if you ain't putting nothing on the floor. Um, now, some of this might be removed because uh, I mean, I might remove some of the stuff because um, we still got to add the the Valentine text. You know what I mean? But um. You wanna, you know, of course we put that on the floor over there by the beer, you know, stuff like that. And we also can make another layer and probably, you know, get some to kind of fall out the air a little bit. Just a little bit, you know, maybe shrink it, it might be too much. Something like that. That's cool. And um, look at that, y'all. Coming together. That little rose. I don't know what we're gonna do with the rose. Now, what's, what could be happening, y'all, it might start to be too much. And I'm going to be careful on how much. Like, I might get rid of these cups, you know. These cups is, like, very, very ghetto. And your girl not, might, might not want to go ghetto, um, you know, on Valentine's Day. She might want to kind of just, you know, relax and feel special. She want to drink, you know. So, let's do that. And then, uh, my let's go ahead and put another one. And we're pumping off over here. All right, and then, um, oh, sorry about that. And, then, okay. and uh, we're turning and shrink it down like that. All right, and uh, let's take this and move it up. And uh, maybe we can move her down so we can kind of reveal that that's a little fake little heart. Okay, and uh, and let's put the Valentine. Now let's put that up front. All right, so we'll put that at the very top. All right, so what's happening is, I didn't put so much stuff in there, man. We ain't even seeing the specialness of the Valentine. So let's kind of uh, pull a few of these, just kind of move them out the way a little bit. This right here is the highlight. So Valentine, all right. So since we got a lot going on, uh, of course I made this in After Effects. And then I also made the red um, uh, hearts in After Effects too. But let's go ahead and take this file and we'll put a little curve madness on it. Uh, let's hit the layer, and then we'll go to image warp. Image warp, and then we'll have access to 
warp these two, the custom warp tools. And we want to bend it a little bit. And then not, not that much, that's way, like way too much. So we'll take it down the peg or two. And I just hold the down arrow until I until it gets to where I really want it. So after bending it, um, as you can see here, just add the shadows. Um, that's a good thing to do. Add some shadows to a lot of the elements uh, to give us some dimension. And then, um, you know, we added the party, the um, gradation, and some outlines. Actually, I might change this party uh, color. And then we activate the text, and uh, here's the final result. In the next video, I'm going to show you a secret on how you can make this flyer come to life without having to have any animation skills or any need to learn any new software. You can do it all in Photoshop. So watch this next video now or come back later to see how you can accomplish this.